Well, let's stay in Ethiopia. The Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet plans to launch Africa's first mini-grid-powered large-scale irrigation system in the country. Now, it is called the Distributed Renewable Energy Agriculture Modalities, and it will be in conjunction with Ethiopia's Ministry of Water and Energy, as well as the African Development Bank. Now, the initiative will begin with the launch of nine renewable energy mini-grids and irrigation systems across Ethiopia. Well, let's find out more about this project from one of the project's partners. We're joined now by Zef Kivungi from the Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet. He is in Addis Ababa. Great to have you with us, uh, uh, Mr. Kivungi. Now, let's start by talking uh, uh, about how viable this distributed solar mini-grids are uh, here in Africa. Uh, not very many people know uh, about this and what they're all about. Uh, talk to us about how they're a solution for electricity access and also uh, for productivity in Africa's agriculture sector. Thank you for having me, Uche. Um, distributed renewable energy systems is really a way of saying let's have a smaller version of what a grid would be uh, out in the, in the in the areas of their consumption and the dream project is really uh, taking this to a different level by saying we would like to supply electricity in a distributed manner meaning that you build these production uh, or generation systems right at the areas of production but we are also tying that to what electricity can do to improve productivity starting with irrigation uh, in the case of Ethiopia. So what, what tends to happen is we build mini grids and then uh, we expect the demand will grow with time. In this case, we are saying, let us figure out the demand now by having commercially viable uses of that electricity from the outset. So in this case, we are tying commercial irrigation systems to these mini grid systems so that then the revenues that come through uh, the, the supply of electricity to the irrigation system are the ones that increase the viability because mini grids are expensive. They mm. do not have the same irrigation, uh, they do not have the same economies of scale. They depend on existing uh, consumers. And for us to build their viability, we have to make sure the revenues will be uh, will be guaranteed or to some extent assured in that sense. Mm. Now we'll get further into how critical such projects will be for uh, Africa as a continent. But let's start off with uh, Ethiopia, where the project is going to kick off. We know it is a drought-prone nation. Uh, it's also agrarian focus, so this sounds great uh, for its economy. It also has the third highest energy deficit uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. So take us through what your strategy will be in Ethiopia and, of course, the targets uh, you're looking at once it launches in the country. Yeah, so this is a pretty uh, bold step that the Global Energy Alliance is taking by saying, let us demonstrate this uh, approach at scale. And starting with these initial nine sites, we are shifting uh, farmers that are already irrigating uh, their farms using diesel and shifting them to using electricity. And what is happening is that many of them would want to continue producing during the dry season, which is a uh, uh, an expensive affair because of having to use diesel. And so we shift those to using electricity for them to start uh, paying a lot less than what it would cost them or what it is costing them currently. And we will be having mini grid developers, private investors, building these mini grids. Uh, then they will depend on the farmers buying this, the, elect or the, the electricity service from these providers. Mm. Our strategy is to shift from this initial nine sites, we are already modeling the next 100 sites because Ethiopia has a unique arrangement in their farming where they have this program they call the uh, agriculture commercialization clusters where you have many small farmers farming in the same area and trying to irrigate during the dry season with harmonized support. So what we are doing here is to avail electricity, which is the missing part for them to commercialize their agriculture. And beyond the next 100, uh, we are working together with our partners, African Development Bank um, and uh, potentially other development uh, uh, banks uh, to then replicate this in various other uh, regions, not just in Ethiopia, 
but possibly in, uh, in, in, different, in, in different countries. So that way you commercialize agriculture and the farmer who was initially unable to not only use electricity or afford it is now a dependable customer to a private investor who is building an expensive mini grid uh, system, which then becomes uh, uh, commercially viable in a sense that now we have more uh, investors coming into that space without necessarily required the kind of ad holding that we are doing uh, in this stage. All right, and it is interesting because this project will actually be the largest mini grid irrigation project uh, in the world going forward. So, how are you planning then to scale? You alluded to this earlier. How are you planning to scale uh, this approach across other African nations going forward? I would say the unique value proposition of the Global Energy Alliance is the fact that we are an alliance. We would like to demonstrate what it is that has not been demonstrated. Why is it that if this was so workable, no one is doing it? The reason is it is risky. Nobody wants to get in there fast. Nobody wants to risk their money doing something that has not been done before. So our approach is to use the data and the analytics that is coming out of uh, the, the demonstrating this in practice and at scale in a commercial sense, to use this data and model similar applications in different other places. And uh, you, you would imagine once you have irrigation, uh, then productivity will increase. Once you have uh, increased productivity, unless market is figured out, unless the handling post-harvest is figured out, that uh, we are talking cold chain, drying, processing, and the like, then we will end up in the same place. You increase productivity, but then the, the farmer was uh, left in the same place. Mm -hmm. So the Global Energy Alliance is really working on making sure this value chain approach is taken care of, which is why we have quite a plethora of uh, uh, partners who are bringing very unique value propositions to this coalition so that then with this data, we can have the sector seeing that this is what works, this is what, what does not work, and this is really our role because then the replication uh, is going to be dependent on the kind of data that we have to say. If you are able to have a commercial application in the agri agriculture value chain that is going to guarantee uh, revenues to the mini grid developer, then there will be more uh, investors wanting to get into that space. That is our strategy for mm. growing beyond just the current nine pilots. Mm. Well, it certainly is an interesting project. Uh, we have run out, run out of time, so we do have to leave it there. But we look forward to having you back to discuss uh, this further. That, of course, is Zef Kivungi. He is from the Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet.